Here so we go. Are we here, Missy Bunnies? We want to be popular. Oh, <laughs> <you. Stop. laughs> All right, welcome back to another School Principal Reacts. If you don't know me, my name is Brandon, and I'm a high school principal from the U.S. state of Georgia doing yet another episode of NEDS today. A lot of you tell me that you all look forward to this week after week of going through this show with me. Many of you have seen this and remember this growing up. I, of course, have never seen it, so um, I'll be continuing to share my unique perspective as a principal with you as I watch this show. This one is called School Clubs. School clubs are definitely part of school life. I can't wait to see what Take This Show has on this issue. Once again, just a reminder, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give the video a like if you can, please. I do appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get into it. Sometimes the best thing your school has to offer takes place after the last bell rings. True. Like after school clubs. School clubs are great because you get to hang with a friend that you don't share class with. Yeah. Yeah, this is very true. <laughs> I remember this guy. I don't know what he's doing. I guess I'll find out in a minute. The tips are always really good. The actual tips from the actual book here. Uh, join a school club with a friend so you can hang out together. Yeah, particularly in middle school, the classes are very uh, structured and you don't get too much choice as far as which class you're in. I do have people try to say, uh, you know, please let me have class with my friend, but that's not what it's about. It's about getting the courses that you need, not so much being with the exact group you want to be with, because the reality is, even if you tried to do that, you'd never please everyone with that. So the focus really has to be on the academics. But after school clubs, uh, certainly nowadays I see less and less after school clubs. There are those, but the after school activities tend to be sports or uh, other things like band and things that ha kind of have to be practiced and require a longer period of time. Maybe a uh, drama club or something like that, or chorus, and anything that is going to require a little bit more coordination. Clubs, though, a lot of schools will allow them to meet at certain times during the day if they want to do that. But if they don't, if they can't do that, then yeah, it is often after school. Welcome, young warriors. Oh, boy. To the Gamers Club. The Gamers Enter Club. If you dare. So join a club. And I don't know what kind of gaming he's talking about. He is the computer lab teacher, so I'm not sure if he's talking about video games or other types of games. I've seen both, actually. And when this came out, I don't think esports existed also, which is a huge deal, uh, which is competitive video gaming, basically. But uh, I'm sure we'll find out what he meant by that. Let's keep going. Like... Pottery Club. Pottery Club? Sewing Club. <laughs> this is the Classified School Survival Manual Club. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to have something to say about that. And I haven't seen any of these clubs before. Uh, typically, clubs tend to be a little bit more mainstream and things that are going to appeal to a wider audience. Or a lot of times they are tied to a national organization like Beta Club and there, there are many, many others that I could name, um, but I don't want to leave any out. I do remember at one school uh, in the past, they were actually filming a movie at the school. So they put all these fake, uh, I guess they would be props on the set, but there were all sorts of ads for various clubs and meetings on the wall around the school that weren't ours. One of them was Falconry Club. That one would be kind of interesting, but it was kind of like this where you have these random really specific uh, interests that a whole club is dedicated to. You don't really see that. You see things that are going to have a broader appeal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, how can he just walk by that without saying or doing anything? Um, that's really funny. Here so we go. Are we here, Missy Buddies? We want to be popular. Okay, so thank you. So, let's get started. Helpful hint number one. Popular kids think popular thoughts. So always agree with the popular kids. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> so she's teaching a little class here. And you all have told me, Missy, I guess she becomes a regular character after her appearance at the beginning of the second season. So she's teaching everyone how to be popular, but it sounds like 
maybe she's just doing that to train them to think or do whatever she wants, maybe, um, <laughs> with her picture all around the room. <laughs> Uh, and even pink chalk. I don't know where they got that. This is too much. Uh oh. What are you doing? Helping kids survive school with my school survival uh, manual. Uh, you stole my idea. This stole is an ugly word. I'll admit your guide was cute, but my manual is far superior. <laughs> Always agree with the popular kids? That's terrible survival advice. It is. Is it? Yes, it is terrible advice. And many kids do tend to kind of do that. If there's a popular student, they just tend to agree with and go along with whatever they do. Why? Because they, too, want to be popular in the opinion of other students. So, yeah, I don't like the way this is going, and hopefully Ned will be able to uh, do something about it. Everybody knows the easiest way to survive school is to be popular. And who better to teach the kids how to be popular uh, than me now? If you're not here to learn, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Missy Buddies, please show Ned. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm real scared of your Missy Buddies. <laughs> Missy Buddies. What? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Those would be uh, pretty big kids for middle school. That's kind of crazy. Didn't really show who they were, though. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, did you hear that? And Missy, everything I know about her so far, her character is just... It's just the way it's written. It's awful. Always doing things to benefit herself, not really caring about anybody else at all, just wanting what she wants, and that's it. So she says the best way to get popular is to do the popular kids' homework. Yeah, I have a feeling there was an ulterior motive here. I, I was created for good, to help kids survive school. Mm -hmm. That was my idea. I heard about that. You didn't tell me? It's completely different. You have a guide. She has a menu. <laughs> you have two. She has helpful hints. Helpful hints. So I'm going to kill you later. <laughs> so what club are you guys joining? I don't know. Susie and I haven't decided yet. We're finally going to hang out and see if this friendship thing will work. Mm, okay. Now I never want to hear her name again. At least you're not putting too much pressure on yourself. I don't know what club to join. Can I hang with you and Susie? Sure you can't. Oh, Susie. <laughs> she said, sure you can't. <laughs> made all the difference there at the end and she just walks off. That's funny. I wonder if there's any room in Missy's club. Uh-oh. Gotta rescue the guy and put a stop to Missy. <gasps> mm. Club Ned. Okay. Our first order of club Ned business. <laughs> That's funny. So I saw it, Club Ned, and so my first thought was, okay, Ned, uh, in order to defeat Missy, is going to start a club of his own with his survival guide as a counter to the manual that Missy has. But no, it's a club about Ned with the huge crew. <laughs> and uh, by the way, I've never heard of the students be able to just do clubs on their own. And this is part of the reason for that. You'd get all sorts of crazy things. Typically, a club needs to have a sponsor for the club. If you all remember the episode, the bullies episode, where Claire and Mose try to make a club that's peer mediation, and they say, we need a teacher sponsor. They did. And so that would apply to really any other club that there is. The way that works in schools is actually governed by law. There's actually been a several Supreme Court cases that govern, okay, can students have clubs? What can the subject of those clubs be? Can they be about anything? Do they have to be academic? Do, can they even be religious in nature? Can you uh, have a club about something that's not even related to school? And all those questions have been answered. Yes, you can do most of those things. Uh, there have been a lot of Supreme Court battles here in the U.S. Uh, oh, now, this was mostly decades ago, but uh, for a long time, it was very different than this. You really couldn't do this at all unless the, unless it was a school-sponsored club like Beta or something else. But you do have to have a teacher sponsor. And so they wouldn't be able to just say, oh, we're having a Ned's club, 
and have this collage of photos on the wall here, that would be a problem, as you can probably imagine. So uh, the club does have to be approved, but you have to be really careful about approving or disapproving clubs based on the content of those clubs. The Supreme Court has been pretty clear on that. Is to find the cutest picture of Ned. No, that's weird. It's this baby photo of him in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> and i've never figured this out you know i know that it is just part of the running joke in ned's the huge crew liking ned i've never really understood like why but okay i'm glad we're finally hanging out ping pong club no way yeah me too computer club oh no way ping pong we can start club. A no club have you ladies considered the gamers club Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's going to be Dungeons and Dragons because he always rolls the dice like someone asks him something. And this is kind of a this is kind of a crazy face he's making here, but he always rolls the dice. So that's what he's talking about. That makes total sense. Thrill to the complete and utter annihilation of your foes. Fight a battle of mythic proportions. It's the ultimate competition. <laughs> and, uh, hello, to wear a cool hat like mine. Beep, beep, sewing club coming through. Sewing club. <laughs> oh, is it uh, too late to join? <laughs> There's always room for another Missy Betty. Now, it's him. if you want to be popular, then you can't be seen with kids that are unpopular. Okay. <laughs> you mean she thought this was a normal student with a mustache? <laughs> That's hilarious. Lameoids, dorks, and dweebs. So helpful hint number 14, don't hang out with the unpopular kid. Mm. But uh, what if an unpopular kid is your friend? If they were a real friend, then they wouldn't be unpopular. So <laughs> I would drop them. Now, a true sign someone's a geek is when they wear a cheesy disguise. Oh, yeah. I thought so. Don't listen to her. She's... Oh! <laughs> attitude is giving us all a real bad attitude she's the queen of the bad attitudes i don't know what she's talking about here so beat it <sighs> i have to say though whoever acted this uh the kid actress here did a wonderful job i mean she really she really puts everything into this character here okay club I want to join. Me neither. What do you like to do? I did have a great time digging those tunnels with Gordy. Yeah, I remember that. That was a potential firing in that particular episode. Hey, I'll start a dig tunnels and find stuff club. You beat archaeology. Whatever. Archaeology. Ah! I don't know how they did that. Sewing. Okay. Uh oh. That's because I'm not finished yet. Uh oh. Okay. And here's where the problem is going to come up. Whose is better? Uh, let's see what happens here. If I am, mine will be better. Oh boy. You got it jammed here. <laughs> <laughs> You've ruined two machines. You should try something more suitable, like uh, kickboxing. <laughs> Are they going to get... Oh, there is a kickboxing club. Are they going to get kicked out of sewing? I've never seen a sewing machine smoke like that. I've also... I don't know if I've seen a sewing club in schools, but I do know sewing machines can get expensive for sure. Okay. I was wondering if it was going to be Coach Stacks from the uh, gym episode. This isn't such a good idea. Mm, it's bruises. Goodness. So me and Susie are going to give school clubs one more shot. I just wish she wasn't so competitive. I'm not competitive. I just never like to lose. Who is my math homework? Good. History? Oh, Excellent. yeah. Excellent. You see? Thanks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so she's got these faceless bodyguards and she's got people doing her homework, getting her coffee. Wow. Um, we see why she started this manual after all. There's some way I can 
get into that club and shut it down. Check out the plans for my archaeology club secret tunnel system. They go everywhere. This is gonna be a blast. So you guys want to join? That. I don't have time. We're taking through secret tunnels that go everywhere in the school. I'm in. No. Are you sure this tunnel leads to Missy's club? Yeah, okay, so Ned's most of the time is really realistic, honestly, and you do have school clubs, just maybe not quite as diverse and sort of free-ranging as this. I haven't seen them go to class yet, by the way. They're just sort of wandering around looking at clubs, unless this is all after school or something. And here with digging through tunnels, I mean, that's, that's crazy beyond crazy, but let's keep going. Ping pong. Okay. Got kicked out of that. Man, <laughs> this school has some problems. It's always getting torn up and people falling through the ceiling. And it's like, it's no big deal. People just fall through the ceiling and dig through walls all the time. Um, I know that the vice principal is coming up. I can't wait to see that. But up until now, we haven't seen any sort of administrative presence or structure in this school. People just kind of do whatever they want. It's kind of funny. Pottery club. Guess that didn't work. Getting kicked out of every club. And I've said it before. These kid actors, uh, they always have to have such gross things on them. It's like this. It's really disgusting. Almost every other scene, they have some gross stuff on them. Uh, it's kind of disgusting. Chemistry club. There's Claire. Or whoever that was. Chemistry club, never heard of that either. And here's them having to get messed up again for this episode they had to <laughs> they had to get kind of messed up in their appearance a lot of different times but chemistry club never heard of that and i don't know why um on shows chemistry is always portrayed you just mix different colored liquids together and then they explode like that's what chemistry is um not really but apparently they got kicked out of chemistry club as well <laughs> oh, no. What in the you're world? I'm gonna get into Missy Club now. Well, if you think you're so smart. Okay, okay. Because at first I'm like, why are they even trying to do this? They didn't say why really, but they want to try and get into Missy's club, which which doesn't make any sense. Like, what if they did? Would they not see them coming through the walls? Um, that's kind of crazy. But let's keep going. <laughs> supposed to turn everything into a death match yeah i know we've been kicked out of every club we're having fun yeah me too <sighs> that's funny well there's one club we haven't tried yet uh-oh oh that one i thought it was going to be missy's uh manual or whatever she's calling it the club uh dedicated to becoming popular but they're going to join the gaming club let's see what happens but that isn't it by nature sort of competitive i don't know we'll see <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, won't they notice if they come through the wall? That's silly. Hey, guys. <laughs> She's everywhere. No, it's it's me, Ned. Where's Missy? Having her afternoon tea. We <laughs> have to stop listening to Missy. Being popular isn't everything. Plus, True. look what she's got you doing. Making buttons, doing her homework. Uh -oh. Missy isn't even nice. Do you really want to be like her? Uh-oh. I take it she's back in the room. Yeah, how can he see, though? He wouldn't be able to see through that poster. That's funny. And then she's, like, pulled through. I don't know who this person is. I guess they're not going to show him uh, because of how unrealistically big he... Now, I've seen some big middle school students. Typically not quite that big. That would be really, really unusual. Oh, oh you know, you guys are really starting to get on my... Oh! oh, school clubs are supposed to be fun. Is anybody having fun? Not really. Yeah. Being popular is a lot more work than I thought. <laughs> Being popular for Missy and doing whatever she wants. That's a little different. I want to have 
fun or do you want to be popular? What she really means is do you want to think for yourself or do you want to do what she tells you to do? Yeah, hey, true. that's one of the perks of being popular. <laughs> Getting dorks to do whatever you want. Mm. You think we're dorks? Duh, you are dorks. Oh. Being so nice and helping you. Oh. You guys aren't. Look at this person's hand. I mean, this is a grown man, obviously. Look at the size of their hands. That's crazy. You guys should join a fun club. A club like <laughs> the archaeology club. <laughs> Oh, even they drop it. That's the last time I try and help someone. School clubs are great, but be careful which club you choose. Okay. I suggest you avoid anything with the word miss. Yeah, it says if you don't like a club, quit it and try another one. I mean, yeah. Yeah, there is some truth to that. If you are in a club and it's just not for you, you don't want to just keep going and going and going. I agree with that. And don't be afraid to join a bunch of clubs because you never know what you'll like till you try. Uh, yes, that's funny. Your kingdom is mine. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, this one's probably pretty competitive as well. Best out of nine. Best You're out fine. of nine. If you can't find a club you want to join, start your own, like Cookie did. Yeah, and that can be done. Uh, you typically, again, have to have a sponsor and have sort of a plan for starting it. Where and when are they going to meet? What are we going to do? What's the purpose of the club? All of that has to be worked out. But yeah, true. Now it's time for me to find a club. Totally fun club that Ned will love. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't do it. Don't do it. It's the huge crew. <laughs> <laughs> why all right well that's the episode that was a fun one school clubs i didn't know where they were going to go with that one but yeah there's some truths to that uh, there definitely are but a lot of it was not quite so realistic this time with the type of clubs that you have and also with missy and her whole deal but it was pretty funny and there were some truths in there, particularly when they talked about being popular. Being popular isn't everything, but when you're in school, it sort of does feel like it's everything and that the popular kids have all of the control and influence, but it's not quite that way. But it's tough to see that when you're a student. I'm going to leave the video here. I hope you enjoyed that episode and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, I'll see you next time on School Principal Reacts. Thanks for watching.